So the, uh, so the overcoming uh, is describing uh, what this rider of the white horse has done. And he's, he's overcome completely. And Jesus said he had overcome the world. And uh, um, so we each, each need to also overcome. Um, but that process, the, the next level gives us, of course, we, we require time to accomplish that. And it's over generations and millennium, actually. And uh, and gen generally, there's three trimesters to a birth, as I understand it now. And uh, one is like a Moses experience, one is a, uh, a Jesus experience, and one is a, um, a Tian Do uh, experience. And it doesn't mean that those can't be repeated, and they probably are. And and uh, there's not in between experiences uh, like being a, having a task like John the Baptist had and, and things like there's all kinds of ways that certain individuals are given opportunities to, to serve and also grow by towards graduation and then after graduation all kinds of tasks but um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go into that now because it's going to take away from what I'm trying to talk about with these uh, four horsemen of the apocalypse because the white also, you know, I, I was insinuating that the name Apple White was reflective of, of the prophecy there. And, um, uh, wait, I'm going to go back to Revelations 3, 5. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. Okay, now what does that mean when the next level says uh, clothed in white raiment? Well, uh, that's the whole body filled with light. We're going to be clothed, in, but that's also going to mean it's a vehicle. Uh, a physical body that is potentially maybe white and maybe doesn't have any pigment because they don't they don't live in environments where uh, pigment is of any benefit to have and so and they grow their vehicles on a vine so whether they grow them white or not uh, I don't know but that might be one of the reason one of the ways white is used but the bigger point here is that they shall be clothed in white raiment. That's the next level saying that we're going to give you a body. Because the next level, uh, Tian Do talked about human bodies as being vehicles. And uh, it's a tool, it's an instrument, it's something that's not totally us. Uh, although we're responsible for what it does. Um, um, and uh, we can get lessons from what it does and what we allow it to do. But what we're responsible for is what we allow it to do. That's what I'm trying to say there. But on the next level, once we overcome this vehicle and we take control of it so that the vehicle doesn't dictate things that we do that we don't want to do, that we recognize are not right to do, by our own standards, and those standards came from the kingdom of God, let's face it. Uh, humans wouldn't really have any of these standards unless they weren't given these standards. Although I know it's not seen that way by uh, those that think there is no kingdom of God, which is the strangest way of thinking I can imagine anymore. I can understand being at a stage of not believing the religions, their point of view of what the kingdom of God is, because they don't have much of a point of view of what the kingdom of God is, unless it's, except for the few words that are written down, and, and the fact that they've, uh, that they know that humans didn't create this place, that's the biggest piece of information that humans and space aliens haven't taken credit for, uh, for for creating all this, all the elements and everything, and all systems upon systems and embedded within, you know, in the genes and uh, coded, you know, uh, systems and, and that's the systems that evolve and, and change and, uh, and thrive and, and recycle and, I mean, there's so much intelligence here, uh, it's ridiculous to think that there isn't extensive intelligent detail design by experience by trial and error not by magic anyway but uh, so the next level is going to give all those who overcome a body so um, Now, what other ways could white, we, we talked about white being light, so your whole body is filled with light, and that means it's filled with information from the level above human. Uh, um, Tindo said that they really don't mix. Uh, 
uh, next level information and human information like how to survive and you know what's good to eat and and who you like and who you don't like and and uh, you know the careers we pursue and all those things are human behaviors and, and ways um, because they're for self and self can be of course is family is associates is friends everybody that is connected with self all are beings that are self oriented in order to have uh, more self themselves. And even giving away of self, being seen by others as a giving away of self, which is religion in large context, uh, even if it's just for uh, fellow monks, seeing that you're another one that's giving away self. Uh, we're displaying it in a way that's announcing it to everybody, and there's a certain self in that. Um, like Tindo said, that this isn't a martyr trip, and uh, so well, Tindo strove for blindness in all appearances, namely looks, race, gender, ethnicity, wealth intellect, um, all of those aspects were uh, part of the human condition um, to, uh, to gravitate to and to have success from. And um, the overcoming process is a breaking off of all those successes. And it's very difficult to do. And in fact, it's, it's good if you're down on your luck uh, in the way that you can be more open to uh, st starting to ask things from the kingdom of God, even if it's help with not being down on your luck. Um, at least, uh, at least you're talking to the kingdom of God, so you've got a chance of talking further and learning that what you thought you wanted isn't what ultimately is going to satisfy you. Your, your, your mind, your soul, your, your uh, mental being. Um, uh, so. I guess that concludes enough on, if I think of something else on the white horse. There's so much more I can actually say about it. Let's see what my notes say here. This victory that uh, this one on the white horse is also a victory over the entire Luciferian space alien adversarial efforts, efforts, because that victory also means that he brought those those students, those new newborn, to new birth. He successfully birthed those. In other words, there were uh, in Tindo's recent birthing class, there were 38 initially, and then there were a couple that came after that that were not in the class at the time, actually three, uh, Oscar, Rick, and uh, um, Justin, uh, and uh, not in that order, it was Rick, Justin, and Oscar, but uh, so that, that's 42, and uh, there might have been more that, uh, that I don't know about. That weren't even in the class. That's always possible. There was a there were a couple that I wondered about, which I'll talk about another time. But uh, I don't, I didn't know from a T and O whether they were considered to be classmates in in the sense that um, they were still out, they were out on their own. Maybe it was a task they had, or maybe uh, uh, you know I don't know what it was. Um, but but. Anyway, there was, there was a fellow that is, was the head of a group in New York City that, uh, um, that I knew that uh, his, his master, I forgot his name, I'll have to go look it up, uh, was off the Long Island Sound, uh, walked into the water uh, and was considered to have committed suicide with his dogs. Now, I don't know if his wife went with him or his girlfriend or whatever the relationship was there with him, but he did have a partner, I think. So, um, I was over there, I'd like to hear more about that, actually. I need to look it up, see if I can find out information from that, more details. But, 
it doesn't really matter what I think about that anyway because I'm just you know saying talking about the signs uh, of you know, that was right after they left their bodies behind in 1997. So I guess I better end it there.